So I really do not like multi-pens. I just, uh, I find it to be really sort of awkward and strange and uncomfortable to write with and, and too bulky and too expensive. But uh, lately, I've been changing my attitude a little bit because I was able to pick up this Jetstream Prime 3. And it turns out that it's a, a really nice pen. It's not too much wider, like in diameter, than a standard pen. Uh, and actually writes pretty nicely. That made me think that maybe some of these D1 cartridges, these are just the little refills that are so often used in multi-pens, maybe they don't have to be so bad. So I went on a little bit of a buying spree in order to find the best D1 pen refill. I bought just kind of a, a wide swath of what was available through the standard resellers like Amazon, Japan, stuff like that. I got some of the Kawakos. This is a 1.2 millimeter blue, kind of a ballpoint. And it comes in a sweet little five pack. And the nice thing about these D1 cartridges is that they, uh, they tend to last a fairly long time and they are pretty inexpensive. Like this five pack was maybe $6 or something like that. And obviously they're super small, so shipping is a non-issue. Uh, I got some from Zebra, like this ESB 0.7 millimeter, the JSB 0.7, uh, 0.4 millimeter, some duplicates since uh, they're really hard to tell apart. So I ordered the same stuff a bunch of times. Uh, Platinum, so uh, not my favorite brand, but seemed like it was worth a try since it costs like $1.80. Uh, Pilot, of course, you gotta go with the, some Pilot action. This is the BRFS. Uh, another pilot, this is uh, actually a high-tech C cartridge. And all these are, are open and they're, they're tested. So now I have a bunch of, basically a lifetime supply of these D1 cartridges lying around. They're obviously really hard to get out. But uh, you can see here that this is uh, a high-tech C needle tip. So that's very cool if you wanna convert your pen over. And then this is, uh, this is probably the most expensive of the bunch. It's really hard to make out, but this is a Monteverdi 1.4 millimeter and maybe you could just make out the logo but you could definitely make out how wide that tip is and you could see the logo there so 1.4 millimeter Monteverdi and the cool thing about that is these are all even though they're so different it will all work in a standard multi-pen housing like this Jetstream but there's so many others like a Rotring Trio that I used to have and basically these are held in place by this brass collar right here and you pull the pen out and you can see it will just go right into that piece of brass uh, this pen while it is expensive it comes with the Jetstream SXR 200 which is uh, one of the top performers as far as these go and then all you have to do is uh, figure out where that little brass hole is insert your D1 cartridge, and now I just converted my Jetstream. And let's see. So now I have Jetstream, blue, Monteverdi, and Jetstream black. Obviously I lost my red, but you can see these are uh, very different tips. Basically two gels in 0.7 millimeter and then a 1.4 millimeter ballpoint. Anyway, so let's cut to the chase. I wanted to show everyone my ratings of the best D1 refills sold today. Uh, so what I did was I just wrote down a sample with each for reference. I tested these out more extensively over the past few weeks, but uh, here is what I ended up with. So we have the Monteverdi Soft Roll 1.4 millimeter. It's like a big soft ballpoint. It kind of feels really slow and awkward. Uh, Jetstream Prime 3, that cartridge is actually, that pen includes something called the SXR 200-7 refill, which is, I would say, my favorite overall refill. So if this video is too long, just buy a Jetstream SXR or Uniball SXR 200-7. It's perfect, just all round, best D1. I really also like the Hi-Tech C Slims cartridge. That's a 0.4 millimeter Hi-Tech C cartridge. 
So if you used a Hi-Tech C Slim, then you use this. It's just a standard Hi-Tech cartridge. Very nice. Uh, the two pilots didn't really impress me. They were just sort of fine. Uh, really not much to say there. Uh, the Zebra ESB 0.7 millimeter. That was my second favorite. Uh, it's affordable, obviously like all these. Works really nicely. Here's what that looks like. Just a little D1. And it's just, uh, it's not a gel cartridge. It's, it is a gel char cartridge, it's not a needle tip. Uh, so nice little upgrade. And the nicer ones here tend to have a little band around here so you could see what color is. This is blue, obviously. Uh, the Platinum, I've mixed that one, missed that one. Uh, nothing special there. Zebra JSB, the ballpoint, uh, not very impressive. Uh, if you want a big, soft ballpoint, definitely, definitely get the Coeco, Coeco Soul 1.2 millimeter. They ship in this box. This company really cares about what they do. You get a, a little five pack in a holster. Nice work, guys. And it is, uh, again, just a big, soft, smooth ballpoint. So at the end of the day, if you want to upgrade your multi-pen to the best possible D1 cartridge, or you have like a Coeco ballpoint, the clicker, then uh, you're gonna want a great D1. Chances are your pen doesn't come with a great D1. So get a SXR 200-7, Zebra ESB 0.7 millimeter, if that's not available, or if you want a ballpoint, get the Coeco Soul 1.2 millimeter five pack. And with that, uh, you will have a nicely upgraded multi pen that could actually write like a proper pen. It's not just like a housing for as many writing utensils as possible, which is the standard multi pen. This is actually something that will write quite nicely. I really do like these uh, Jetstream refills and of course if you want to just do it right from the start uh, the Jetstream Prime 3 is uh, really nice I did a review on this previously uh, I had to import it from Japan but it wasn't that expensive so that's it if you have any questions or comments please leave them below thanks